Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you three ridiculously easy ways to make your pictures look dreamy and beautiful. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that, let's get started. So each of these tricks is going to blow your mind. Here is the first one. This is our original picture and the only thing we are going to do is to click on live filters over here and select the lens blur and this gives us a blur over the picture. We can select the number of blades which influences the look of the bokeh and also the blade curvature and the bloom and the bloom factor and also the bloom color which is just a little bit here on the fringes of the bloom if you can see that. Now this doesn't look great so what's the trick here? First of all you want to set this up to your taste. Click up here on preserve alpha that's pretty important so you don't have any kind of these white lines around your edge. So click on preserve alpha and then here it comes. Set the blend mode to overlay and boom that is the first trick and you can see how easy that is and by setting up your radius you can see you can influence how much dreaminess you want to have in here with the blade number you can also influence the picture with the bloom factor for example you can say well I don't want to have that much bloom here so let's reduce that or you can say I want to have a ton of bloom in here and that's also possible. Let's blow your mind again. So right click on the layer and click duplicate. And then you want to set this this time to soft light. Already looks pretty cool, but we're going to go in here to effect Gaussian blur. Again, click on preserve alpha, always important, and then push up your radius. And again, you can decide how dreamy you want it to be if at all. I would give it a little bit of dreaminess for this picture. It's whimsical, it's nice, so a little bit of dreaminess can really help here. And you can see, pretty awesome. Original picture and our own version of the picture. All right, and here is the next trick already. So these are super easy as I promised you. The next trick is to go here to adjustments and then to gradient map. And for this, here are your settings, delete the point in the middle, set the left one to black and then to right one to any kind of color you want. In this case I want to have let's say a nice warm orange tone like this. Okay, so what are we going to do next? We want to set this to blend mode soft light. And you can see now we have a very nice sunset mood, very nice colors. Look at the before, look at the after. It's a bit darker, but it has this kind of warm tone. It has this kind of sun is going down. Very nice feeling in it. It's just one layer and this is an amazing change. That's it already for today. I want to remind you I have a Facebook group where I give weekly exercises and live feedback in my live stream. So you might want to check that out. Link below in the video description. I hope you enjoyed these three awesome tricks. If you did, please leave a like. Maybe also subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified about my new videos. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.